Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. This is Amy Jo, and today I'm gonna be opening a Pinky Cooper and the Jet Set Pet Style. And this is Pinky in London. And here is Pinky. And I have actually never opened a Pinky Cooper doll before. This was a request from one of our subscribers, Kyle in Virginia. So Kyle, here is a Pinky Cooper doll just for you. <laughs> so she is really cute. Um, can you guys tell that she has real eyelashes? She has on adorable clothes. She has a little plaid, looks like a little jacket or a dress and a matching hat. And can you see all of the detail in her face? So there are those eyelashes I was talking about. And look at her little nose and mouth. <laughs> she is really cute. I love the little heart on her forehead. Now let's take a closer look at her little paws. <laughs> So there is a little heart in each palm, and her arms are articulated at the elbow, but they definitely don't move a ton. She's got some range of motion there. I really love her dress. I love the colors, but I also love the plaid and the little bow in front. <laughs> Here is the back of her. And are you guys ready to see her cool boots? Check these out. And they are removable. Ah, I'm having a hard time tugging those off. There we go. And there she is. These dolls were actually modeled after the English Toy Spaniel breed. And you know what? They were created by the same guy that created the Bratz dolls. So that's kind of interesting trivia for you. And as you can see, Pinky is into fashion. That is her thing. This puppy is Lil Pinky and this is Pinky's pet. And this little puppy has removable ears. <laughs> and actually, you can mix and match and interchange these. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if her little outfit comes off. And it does. Aw, that's cute, look at that little heart. And did you notice that the puppy's outfit matches Pinky Cooper's outfit? <laughs> that's pretty sweet too. In addition to the little pinky puppy, there is a brush and a camera and an umbrella. So it's rainy a lot in London, which is why Pinky needs the umbrella. And of course she needs a camera to take pictures. So those are the accessories that come with the doll. And just like little pinky, big pinky Cooper, also has interchangeable, I guess, I don't know if we'd call these ears. <laughs> Whoa, she looks crazy like that. Ah, I don't like it. Okay, so we can switch her hair around. How about if we say that? So that the dark is in the front. There, how do we like that? She looks really strange without her hat, doesn't she? So I had an idea that we could um, get some Play-Doh out and make some different outfits for Pinky with Play-Doh. And actually, now that I know this removes, we can make a hat too. <laughs> I can't get used to her like that. Ah! <laughs> so I have some Play-Doh Plus and I just, I selected orange cause I thought that would look good <laughs> on her. And I'm just going to roll some out and we're going to make a little dress out of Play-Doh. And then next we are just going to cut this down and remove the excess Play-Doh. And this is actually the Play-Doh Plus. So I removed her ears again 
just in case because I didn't want to get Play-Doh in them while we were making the dress. But we can attach those in just a few minutes. So I'm just pressing the Play-Doh Plus all around the doll and smoothing it out to fit around her body. Next, I have placed some white Play-Doh in the extruder and I'm going to make some um, trim to go around the top of the dress. And I also made some to go around the bottom. So here is her first Play-Doh dress. And actually, she could still wear her little cap with it because it matches the orange. I won't be able to get that on with <laughs> one hand though. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know what you guys thought about that orange outfit. You'll have to leave me a comment and let me know. But I think we're going to try something in green. So I just press the green Play-Doh all around and cut it kind of unevenly so that there is a little bit of an asymmetrical um, drop here. Next I'm just going to roll out some of the Play-Doh between my finger and thumb and make a little um, strap to go around the neck and down to the dress, almost like a halter. See how that turned out? And next, I'm going to use some hot pink Play-Doh and make some kind of a little design for the top of the dress. I think I'm going to try to make a tiny little flower. Almost like she's wearing a corsage. This is going to be hard because it's so little. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I think it looks a little bit like a flower. It's just so hard because it's so itty bitty. And here is how her second dress turned out. And I think I like this one better than the orange. You guys will have to leave me a comment and tell me which one you like better. Now, should we do something really quick for her little puppy? Maybe we should do a quick little something to match <laughs> so they match again. So to make Lil Pinky an outfit, I'm just gonna take some green Play-Doh and kind of press that around her little body. And here is how that turned out. And I think I'll make a little pink flower for Lil Pinky too. There, what do you guys think about that? I think that turned out pretty cute. Okay guys, well, I hope that you'll leave me a comment and let me know what you think about Pinky Cooper and Lil Pinky. And if you like videos like this and want to see more, you can let me know by clicking on the like button. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>